These are 13 AI stocks I want to buy and are my AI stock watch list. Without getting overly hype about it, AI stocks have seen a massive increase in interest and price appreciation over the recent months. This is coming from excitement from both long-term investors and short-term speculators who are looking to profit from this incredible technology. I myself am currently a bit underexposed to tech and have been watching most of these AI stocks rise from the sideline, though I do have a targeted list of some AI stocks to buy when the time is right for me. This isn't an exhaustive list by any means, but is simply how I'm mapping out some of these stocks in my head to better organize the opportunity set. Take these company positions with a big grain of salt on this map as they may not be fully accurate, but on the y-axis we have B2B businesses at the top and B2C businesses at the bottom. On the x-axis on the left we have companies that focus on the hardware and infrastructure behind AI, while on the right we have companies that focus on the software and applications that use or could use AI. I'll provide a brief overview of each company and then provide some commentary on how I'm thinking about these companies holistically. The first company likely is no surprise and that is Nvidia. Nvidia is the largest near peer play AI stock in the market. They have 80% of the GPU market, which is the crucial chip hardware that makes most generative AI computations possible, both from a technical standpoint as well as an economic standpoint. Their chips will be in strong demand from any company that is interested in building out AI technology and servers. The next stock is AMD, or Advanced Micro Devices. They are the second largest GPU maker. Despite a smaller share of the GPU market, it's still a significant opportunity in AI hardware as they are taking a slice of a quickly growing pie. Nvidia and AMD are focused primarily on those GPU chips that are essential for AI, and now I want to talk about the big three cloud players who have built the cloud infrastructure that will likely run many of these AI applications. And one of those companies is Microsoft. Now Microsoft actually purchased an ownership stake in OpenAI, the makers behind ChatGPT, a popular generative AI tool and language learning model. In addition to this, they have a large cloud infrastructure that will be used in the background to run AI computations for many companies, including ChatGTP and OpenAI. This gives Microsoft a unique exposure to both AI hardware in terms of the infrastructure side, as well as AI software and applications. And the next company is Amazon. Like Microsoft, it has a large cloud infrastructure with AWS, which will be the backbone computational power for many AI applications in the future. Amazon is also rumored to have several AI projects in the works, but the final details of those are yet to be seen. And finally, we have Google or Alphabet. Now, Alphabet is smaller in the cloud infrastructure market share compared to Amazon and Microsoft, but they're still solidly the number three position in the space. Google also has one of the largest amounts of data to develop AI models, which includes its set of massive search and web browsing data. In addition, they're also the owner of DeepMind, a powerful AI asset that has not yet fully been monetized. And they're also the owner of Waymo, the autonomous driving software, which will likely benefit from increased integration of AI learning. So while Alphabet provides that AI hardware infrastructure, it also owns many software applications that will benefit from AI. So it's likely you're already quite familiar with these three large cloud infrastructure players and possibly even own all three of them. But I do wanna talk about now three likely lesser known stocks that will still significantly benefit from AI and their implementation. The way these three stocks primarily will benefit from AI is by providing hardware specifically from business themselves to other businesses. The first of which is Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company. Now TSMC for short is probably probably the most important chip manufacturer in the world. The GPUs from Nvidia and AMD are both made by TSMC. Because of this, TSMC will likely see a strong second order demand from the increase in first order demands for these AI chips at Nvidia and AMD. Another stock to benefit from AI is a much smaller company called Super Microcomputer. They build server systems which will likely see a benefit from new IA servers being built. This is primarily a B2B hardware company and has a focused approach, so it likely will be able to directly benefit from this new demand from AI servers. And the third company is Equinix. Now Equinix will likely benefit from AI in a slightly different way than the other companies, as Equinix is actually a data center REIT that will likely house many of these AI servers for large companies. Investing in Equinix is a way to generate more stable rent income from the AI boom, although the upside will be more limited. So those are some of the investments focused on B2B hardware 
in the AI space. Now we also have two more stocks before discussing software and applications. One which you're already familiar with is Apple. They're the largest consumer electronics hardware company in the world. They likely can add AI integrations into their products, although this is not quite as direct of involvement in AI for now. There are rumors of an autonomous vehicle division, which likely will use and benefit from AI, but I would generally view Apple more as a likely net beneficiary of the use of AI rather than a direct AI investment. Another company to look out for is Meta Platforms, formerly Facebook. They have a massive user data set to potentially benefit even further from AI tools and machine learning models. There's certainly potential to integrate AI apps or interactions within their family of apps and the metaverse if you still see potential in that. Like Apple, I see Meta as a net beneficiary of AI, but maybe not as direct of an AI investment. With that, we can talk about the final three stocks on the software and application side of AI. One of those companies is Adobe. Adobe provides creative software subscriptions to businesses and individuals. They're likely a prime beneficiary of generative AI technologies. Imagine, for instance, being able to say how you want a photo touched up in Photoshop and having the AI generate a photo with all the appropriate layers based on your request. This could save editors a lot of time, increasing productivity, and therefore increasing the value of the software. Similarly, another company that could benefit from this is Intuit. They're also a software subscription company providing tax and bookkeeping software. Imagine in the future going to Intuit's TaxBot AI and saying, here are all my tax forms, fill out all my taxes and provide me with a summary and highlight any areas that need manual review. This has huge potential for time savings, increases productivity again, makes the process much easier, which all makes the service more valuable. And the final company on my AI watch list is Oracle. They provide products and services to support enterprise information technology environments. As a dominant B2B software company, they've developed and are developing AI integrations to help provide a better understanding of complex data as well as automate routine or mundane tasks. This could lead to lower costs for users, increasing the overall value of Oracle services. So that's a quick summary of each of these companies in my watch list. And as you can see, there's many angles you can take with a potential AI investment. If you're looking for the most pure play AI investment as well as potentially the most upside, likely that would occur with Nvidia and AMD, particularly Nvidia, as they are the most dominant player in the GPU market space. However, Nvidia's success will likely provide success for many companies downstream. For instance, if you're willing to trade off some of the upside to buy a company with a lower starting valuation, you could look to TSMC and Super Microcomputer as a couple other hardware companies that will benefit from AI and Nvidia's success, but are generally trading at lower valuations. If you're looking for a little bit more of a stable investment in AI with less fluctuations on the cyclicality that can come with the chip market, then collecting rents with Equinix could be one way to go. Additionally, the big three cloud infrastructure players with Amazon, Microsoft, and Google will likely see continued growing demand for their services over time, particularly Microsoft, which has a part ownership of OpenAI, as well as an agreement with OpenAI to provide all of their computational services. While Meta and Apple have a less direct connection to AI, it's quite likely that they stand to benefit from increases in productivity that AI can bring both to their products and services, as well as their employee productivity. On the software side with Adobe, Intuit, and Oracle, there's certainly potential for AI to increase or enhance the value proposition of many of their software subscriptions. While this is certainly a benefit from AI, the results of this may be more long-term. So I wouldn't necessarily expect to see a sudden increase in short-term business performance from these units, and more expect this to be a long-term trend. Now I want to go over two potential traps to avoid when purchasing AI stocks. The first trap is chasing performance based on short-term prices. It's always better to think about the long-term perspective. A past example of a similar scenario could be with cryptocurrencies in 2021 or the 3D printing boom in 2013. During both of these periods, there was an unbelievable and seemingly endless amount of hype and excitement over these technologies. Though during the bubble phase, the focus of that excitement seemed to be driven by increases in stock price rather than the actual technology. Each of these bubbles saw a significant deflation despite the technologies continuing to improve over time. I think AI has even more long-term potential than either of those, but I would be wary when you start to see the focus of AI hype and excitement shift away from the technology side and focus more on the financial side on the stock price movements 
and how much you can make. Usually that is the sign of a bubble and a signal that valuations likely will come down at some point. We've even already seen this directly with Nvidia stock following the crypto boom in 2021 where millions of GPUs were bought to mine Ethereum. Once that hype wears off and the initial catalyst is expended, we saw a reduction in valuation, which now, at least in the short term, has been significantly reinflated by excitement around AI technology and the new demand for NVIDIA chips. And the second trap to avoid is buying companies that use AI as a marketing buzzword but lack significant results with AI products or services. C3.AI is one example of this. This reminds me a lot of the dot-com bubble when companies would add dot-com to their official company name and immediately see a massive increase in stock price overnight. If you see a company name or website have AI in the name or end with dot-AI, then that could be a red flag. In this case, C3.AI has potentially all of those red flags with AI in the company name, .ai on the website and even chose the stock ticker symbol AI. What all this means is that the company is signaling that they are desperately trying to be viewed as an AI company. However, if their products and services were successful with AI, they wouldn't necessarily need to rely on such forced marketing. Past employees of C3AI have noted that their products and services don't really rely that much on artificial intelligence and are primarily the result of hardworking individuals on their teams that build the underlying software solutions for their clients. Additionally, when you look at the company's earnings and also cash flow, they have not had a single profitable year and have been bleeding increasingly larger amounts of cash flow. So if you're looking to invest in AI for the long term, I would avoid these types of companies and stick with companies that have a long-term track record of successful profitable results. So when would I buy these AI stocks? Though I do have a few single share tracker positions in some of these stocks and already own Google and Meta, I'll likely continue to be on the sidelines for here for the most part until some of the hype and excitement starts to wear off. The time to have bought Nvidia, for example, seems to have been in that October of 2022 when both valuations and sentiment around the company were quite depressed. Had I more properly anticipated the potential boom from AI, then this would have been an ideal investment to make at that time. If you want to buy low and sell high, or just buy low and hold long term, it is generally worth it to be patient and wait for those kinds of opportunities, rather than chasing stocks hitting all-time highs. That being said, if you're a long-term believer in this technology and its potential, don't let one person's concerns about current valuation dissuade you from taking an initial position if you have a better understanding of the technology and growth trends. I will readily admit that I'm not an expert in AI, so there's a good chance that many of you may know more than me in this regard. On the other hand, just because AI stocks are booming right now, also don't feel pressured or have FOMO to think that you need to buy right now after prices have already increased and valuations are much higher. Sure, what is expensive can always get more expensive and prices can certainly further rise from here. But if you are buying primarily because of the recent price action upward, you may be disappointed if there's a correction in price after you buy. At the end of the day, it will be up to you, and these are just my thoughts on AI stocks. So don't let that discourage you from taking a position in AI companies if you think the risk to reward ratio is still attractive for you. Hopefully you got value from my AI stock watch list, and if you did, consider subscribing. Until then, thanks for watching.